our whole ethos and philosophy is to source what we can locally. It makes sense on every level, both from an environment level to typically a cost level, because if we have to bring it in, we have shipping costs uh, and, and programming and timing, uh, quantities, and they provide the, the quantities that are needed. Uh, so we have to go through all those criteria to make sure we're making the right decision. Um, ultimately, uh, the goal is, is to do that, and we shared with you this morning what our intent is on that mix of uh, local sourcing uh, versus some items that, you know, invariably will have to come in from, from overseas. What that gives us is an airtight shell, but obviously a very heavily insulated shell on the outside to reduce any uh, solar uh, penetration, any solar gain uh, uh, from the outside and then from the inside <coughs> to serve as um, a capsule to keep the air conditioned air in uh, and uh, under control. So, as Mike just demonstrated, they just stack and level all the way up to the We looked at the per bar early on today. It's really about um, kind of modern um, furniture and fixtures, kind of mixed with your traditional, um, the kind of bamboo fit in, kind of high leg, um, and really mutate, shiny colors of women, and now you get a real kind of cool kind of sense of, 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 of the Caribbean, if you will. This pearl bar is what we're describing as an ultra lounge. So it's that again, that very high end martini cocktail. Again, visualize yourself in a, in a South Beach uh, setting uh, in terms of that very cool colors, cool ambiance, quite modern, and it'll be a great destination uh, and amenity within uh, within the uh, within the area. We have there the Black Planet, uh, two rivers and hideaway, mm -hmm. all at various stages of uh, planning approval and, and uh, due process, the design. Uh, for Hideaway are pretty much complete and signed off. We're due to travel up there in the next week or two to do final uh, operational sign off on, on the actual design and architecture. Um, and then we're hoping to get that project moving within the next two to three months.